Hello friends, welcome to the world of maths by Amir. In this concept video or solution video, we discuss DILR at day 6, which is published on 17th October 2017 on 3 site. Okay, the question is, there are the 6 friends A, B, C, D, E and F during Durga Puja, they ate only fruits that too only one time a day and they call it Falahar. So it's all about the Falahar, they name it the Falahar. So Falahar is nothing but a redundant figure. They did this falahar for the first four days of the puja. So we have first four days of the data. Fruits available to eat were apple, carrot, singhara, khira, guava and banana. They can eat any number of fruits of one type or different types or sweets. But sweets is again a redundant data in the single falahar because we in the data we do not have sweets. Okay. What do you mean by they can eat any number of fruits of one type or different types or sweets? The meaning of this one is what? They can nothing but any number of fruits like six in day one a eight six fruits. So six fruit could be of either apple only apple which is not possible. So should be the mix of anyone. They can eat any number of fruits of one type or another different types. In a single farhar if say this one B is three. So three could be what means B ate three fruits. So three fruits could be of the single type. Or could be of different types the question is not especially asked if they have to eat a single type of fruits okay i hope this one is and we have to answer three questions maximum number of kira anyone can eat is how many the maximum number of apples anyone can eat is if all eat at least one fruits of all type another one condition we have if all eat at least one fruits of all type maximum how many friends could eat only one type of fruits in a day but eat different fruits in all three days so we have three questions and these are not the di question actually these are the language based problem so we have to understand the language and solve the question maximum number of kira anyone can eat is in the kira the maximum kira is on a day three seven so the person who can eat the maximum number of kira on day three would be the would be the person which will help to answer the question number one we have seven so we can say d is nothing but seven D would eat 7 khiras on day 3. Now D has to eat 5. But the khiras available on day 2 is nothing but 2. So we have on day 3 D ate 7 fruits. We, D has to eat 5 fruits. But available khira is only 2. So D could eat 2 khiras on day 2. Now the available khiras on day 4 is 3. But D can eat only 2 fruits. So the maximum khiras he can eat is 2, 7, 2 on day 2 day 3 and day 4 respectively the, so the maximum khira one can eat is nothing but 11 and the person is nothing but d so the answer of question number one is 11 i hope this one is clear so this is nothing but just a language one can eat any number of fruits according to the data and can eat different number of food fruits if it is not given in the question so question number one answer is 11 now question number two the maximum number of apples anyone can eat is how many we have to work on the maximum apples if all eat at least one fruits of all type. Now we have to work on apple. But the condition is if all eat at least one fruit of all type. What it's mean? The total number of apples are nothing but 15 and we have 6 friends. We have 6 friends in which one would help me to answer the question number 2. So others would also eat at least one. Why at least one? Because in the apples we are looking for the maximum. If you want the maximum so we have to give other at least and how many they can eat at least so they have to eat at least one apple so out of 15 five apples are for the rest person so we have to work on a 10 apples so 10 apples is the maximum apples one could eat so our answer of the question number two is nothing but 10 can they eat 10 or not and total is 18 in 18 d would eat 10 apple and rest eight would be of different types so d is d would satisfy why i'm checking all these if this one is assumed if the summation of D is say nothing but 12 in which if I say D would eat 10 apples or so two of the different type which is not a possible case because D has to eat at least of one type all so there is no contradiction so we said the answer is 10 without any contradiction so our answer of question number 2 is nothing but 10 so we have to check always the contradiction part if there is any contradiction we have to work on the contradiction too. Maximum, how many friends could eat only one type of fruits in a day but eat different fruits in all four days? Maximum, how many friends could eat? We have A is the six. Can A eat six fruits? Yes, A can eat six fruits. That is nothing but Singhara. Day two, A has to eat six fruits and the, that of the one type. There is no fruits 
available which are the six in quantity so a is not a possible case b is again not a possible case why because day four b has four and we do not have four in any fruits on day four c is a possible case one three two one which is below than the given numbers so c could be a possible case d is again a possible case because d is four available we have d five we have five we have seven we have seven we have two we, yes we have two is also a possible case because two yes two one always four is the possible case two is a possible case for the day four if you compare the apple so we have four possible cases do we have any contradiction we have to check the contradiction the answer should be four if we do not have any contradiction if there would be any contradiction answer should be less than four now check the contradictions uh we have d7 so we know this would be for the d so that on day three d has to eat kira only and no one would eat kira on day three i hope this one is clear now four for the apple d has either apple option or singhara option or guava option on this one so okay we have d options now five so we have five on this one d and d so we have two options fine perfectly fine d is the fix for the d on a day four they can eat anything except the banana so no problem they can eat anything except the banana so we do not think anything about so we do not need to worry on day four because it's two now we have to work on c c is the one c can eat anything we have all the options available except the kira three c could be here c could be here c could be here okay then two two could be anywhere no problem about the c two could be anywhere so for c the problematic day is or could be day two let's check is it or not e2 could be any day one could be any day for the four we can say e could be here e could be here or e could be here two no problem f f could be here f could be here f could be here four v could be here four could be here four could be here four could be here and then three three could be anywhere a lot of options do we have we have f should be here should be here should be here should be here then we have three could be anywhere except the banana so i think there is no any contradiction what do you mean by contradiction we have d and f two problematic days and we have for the d and f we have two cases when the problem would happen on any day n if you are fighting with a common fruits so if i say there should be seven for the two days so that should be a problem so we have to reduce one but on each and every days if we have d and f we have more than two options df we have more than two options again for the c we could have any cases so we can get any arrangement in the def and the c so our answer is four without any contradiction when the contradiction would come when you have on a particular day you are fighting for the single numbers by the more than one contestant or the one person so answer of question number three is nothing but four so answer of this di is 11 10 and 4 i hope this one is clear but still if you have any doubt i would say please rewind the video read the condition and solve the question the question is also given in the description of this video. Okay. Thank you and happy learning.